Welcome back to Fallout 4, Brotherhood of Steel. Back at Sanctuary again, another beautiful day. Although it was rainy when I went to sleep, so it's not always beautiful here. Um, I installed a little decontamination arch here for radiation, so I don't even have to use Radaway anymore when I'm here. I don't know if anybody's ever used these things before, but they're kind of cool. They're kind of hard to find. I couldn't believe. It took me a minute to find it. It's under power. Under power. Here, miscellaneous. I don't know why it's under power, but it is. It's way down here. Decontamination arch. So to use that, you just kind of hit the button here. And you walk through. Gets rid of your reds. It's great for survival mode because taking drugs you get sick taking drugs it, it breaks down your immune system so this worked good and I had this set up one time I can't remember how I had it set up but I had it set up to where it was automatic you walk through it and it just goes off and on real quick there's all kinds of gizmos you can hook up to it and stuff so um, we got all our power armor over here. I brought the old power armor over here. I think I did that the last video. We got a new one. We have this one. Which was part of the last mission. Which was... Uh... What was that? It was... Learning curve? No, that wasn't it. When pigs fly. Nope. Nope, that wasn't it. That's the one I got ripped off on. Speak of the Devil. This one here. Power armor suit was in the Boston Police Rationing Site. So we've got that. So we got a good lineup here. I might have to build a little garage here for all my suits. As we start collecting them. Uh, I sold everything that I had off camera. So we have no more stuff. I have lots of cash. I have lots of caps. 33,000 caps now. Uh, we got enough beers. We got four beers and four grape mentats. That's very good. I also cooked up another Yagwe rib. But we're not going to need much of that stuff now. The suit, make sure there's no power core in it. There is no fusion core in there. We're going to go do the molecular level. We're going to head to the Institute. And that starts off at the airport. So let's go down there. Don't need my suit for this. We're going to be amongst friends. All right. Ingram's over here doing this thing. We're going to go talk to her. Maxim, they're all just kind of waiting for me. Sorry, guys. I had things to take care of. All right, girl. I checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor's ready to go. Are you? Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform, and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. The device doesn't work from over there. You have to be on the platform. Let's see. Relays dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Okay. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. I was wondering when she was going to give me that. wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%, 80%, emitter spiking but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. <laughs> Yabba dabba do that. And the molecular level is complete. Alright, so everybody be aware. This is going to be dialogue heavy here. Nothing but dialogue for maybe the next couple of videos. Getting our feet wet in the Institute. Let's put that 
with that thing right in here. I think we can do it. Load hollow tape. Uh Where is it? Are we done? Network scanner, that's what we want. There we go. Give hollow tape to Proctor Ingram. Alright. Anything up here? Let's see. Some stuff over here. You never give up the you never never give up the opportunity to loot. things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Hmm. Institutionalized. Now you get to see the inside of the institute. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the institute. This is the reality of the institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. I am. Another elevator? Another elevator. It's the back door elevator. Everything that now everything that's aluminum will be marked. So all this stuff's aluminum. Nice, because we need aluminum. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <laughs> Sean? Oh my God! It's really you. Who are you? I'm your dad. Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? 
Are you okay? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! What do you want? What do you want me to do, Sean? What can I do? I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Come down, dude. Sean, please. Calm down. I'll get you out of there. Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. <laughs> I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. This is... insane. All of it! The degree of trauma you're experiencing right now is understandable. Please, just try to relax. I know this is all difficult to take in. Oh, God. All we're missing are the teacups and the, the white rabbit. Ah, <laughs> levity. Excellent. A sure sign that you adapt quickly to stressful environments. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far. And suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. Dun dun dun. Your son. Dun dun dun. That ah, bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth, think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not 10, but 60 years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human sense. They needed specimens? So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland. Radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations 
that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. Hmm. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Here the whole time? And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation. And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. Yeah, what except else you're older I than I am, dude. To ease your mind. Uh, Kellogg. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The hmm. Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? What else can I say? Um. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just... Give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Uh, yes. Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit 
biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself. A chance to become acquainted with our procedures. Okay. I'll do whatever it takes. It's worth it. I am glad to hear that. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. Oh, Dr. Lee, she's They've the one. all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Meet the leaders. Okay. Uh, what can I steal? Pencils. Sorry, I need a pencil. So, what's this? Uh, we can go out. Alright, we'll give it a shot. Uh, let's see something first. We also gotta help out Virgil. We're going to get the thing he wants. Um, meet the division leaders. Ah, man, it doesn't... I think Virgil's thing is in bioscience, because that's where he was at. Um... Locate Dr. Lee, Troubled Waters. Huh. <laughs> I keep coming across this and I just laugh every time. Uh, it doesn't really have that here. I'm pretty sure bioscience is where that experiment is at. So I have to go get it. Alright, let's go talk to some people if we can find them. Uh, it takes me a minute to get oriented in this place. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Hear that, dude? You're gonna be phased Most out. Have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. well I can't argue with that. You should get closer Maybe if you're so. fixing it, don't you think? To see the full Gen Three roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Thanks again. Of course. Our technology must seem pretty advanced by your standards. Hey, Doc. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. Hi, you Allie. me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father okay. told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? Find my son? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Let's see. Good for now. Power needs division personnel. Yeah, I was going to go I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. we got to kind of minim minimize the conversation as much as we can. This guy, he's the guy that sells and buys stuff. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? Let's see what you got. He still sells shit for caps, doesn't he? What's he got here? Institute rifle. What's this? Ooh. Ah. Whoa, nice. 
Nice. Plasma rifle. And it is 25% faster fire rate, 15% faster reload. Ha. Huh. Keep that in mind. Stuff looks pretty pricey, but I don't use armor, so. He has a plasma sniper rifle, which is that looks like that about does the same damage mine does. Uh, where's my sniper? Ooh, this one does one fifty. Mine does one fifty five. This one does 98, so yeah, mine's a little bit better. It's okay, we can probably ramp that one up, as well as we can ramp up this one. We definitely can ramp that up. We can make that a sniper rifle pretty easily. It's got a high fire rate. That probably has an automatic barrel on it. Uh, what else they got? Let's go back to this one again. Hold on a second. Where is this one? Not this one. Well, what does this one have on it? It has a standard capacitor. So, mine has the overcharge capacitor. Yeah, okay. What does this one have? The experiment. A boosted photon agitator. An improved automatic barrel. So... Yeah, that might be something to look into. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Still sell stuff for caps, no less, in the Institute, huh? Okay. I love this glass floor in this place. All right, so that is... Engineering? Robotics? Synth retention. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. The ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. <laughs> that was what was that one? Synth retention. It's an honor to have you here, sir. Thank you. When are you going to tell me about this mysterious Phase 3? No, I can't talk about that. Advanced systems. So, what's this one? Bioscience. I think this is where Virgil's thing is. Let's go talk to the guys first. We gotta find Dr. Lee, too. I'm gonna talk to this guy for a little. Uh, yeah, this is where his thing is at. It's in here some. Well, not in here. It's in the back area. He's eager to get that going. So I've had to put everything else to one side. It's back here. But I can't get there from here. Well, I can't. I think. I don't know. Hmm. I. I try not to think too much about it. Is this the place with the gorilla? Yeah, it's got a fake gorilla over there. What do we got here? Aluminum. Gotta take aluminum stuff. Guess everything here is aluminum. That's nice. How can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. Cool. All right, let's talk to this guy. He's done talking. The latest synth generation is just amazing. Those guys in robotics are working miracles. Doctor, Dude. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the bioscience Well, oh, look at me when you're talking to me, dude. I can't wait to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I'm interested. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, 
The Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. I it's did. It's just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. That's a man. I would be sarcastic. Yeah, I can't imagine anything more exciting than fake gorillas. <laughs> Speaking only for myself, I find them fascinating. Of course, I might be a little biased. <laughs> I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? Yes, I am joining you. I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Now we're gonna we're gonna kind of speed this up just a little bit. I'm good for now. Thanks. Take care then. All right. Uh, let's see. If I think if we go out here, this is where his thing is. But there's also security in here I think so there's like uh, there's just nasty stuff and I'm gonna I'd have to bring my monkey suit to go in there because I don't have any armor all right who's next on the list let's um who's this scanning unknown identity clearance confirmed where do we need to go next? Uh, this way, I guess. We gotta see Dr. Lee. She's in here somewhere. She's in advanced systems. That's Dr. Lee. All right, let's let's call it a video here, and then we'll just we'll continue this tour of the institute next video. So, if you're watching, thanks for watching. See ya.